Yes, that is right. In fact, you might have even seen that some of the headlines once again are suggesting that there is some extreme heat on the way. But what these headlines tend to do is that they tend to look at just one model run and they tend to look at the most extreme. And of course, here at the Met Office, we don't just look at one model, we look at uh, multiple models and we run those models multiple times, always slightly changing the starting conditions to see the potential spread in the kind of weather that we can expect to see. So here's a good example from our European model. And if we take a look at the control member, I know it's a, probably a little bit small to, to see, but take a look at the kind of orange colors. That's where we could expect to see some heat. So yes, it is actually suggesting that we could potentially see some heat wave conditions on its way. This time, not just across central areas, parts of the southeast, but this time actually a bit more widespread. So pushing up into the north, possibly even pushing up into Scotland. But then let me draw your attention to member number five. And this actually shows shows no heat across the UK whatsoever. It shows it confined to continental Europe and actually the UK in this setup will actually see cool temperatures if not around about average for the time of year. So that means there's still a little bit of uncertainty as to how hot things are going to get into next week. Nevertheless, Yes, there is a suggestion that temperatures will climb as we head further into next week. So at the moment, this is once again taken from our European model, we're going to see a dip in those temperatures over the weekend. That's all as a result of the unsettled weather. There's going to be more cloud around, a slightly different air mass, so things aren't going to get quite as warm. But as we progress further into the week, notice those temperatures start to climb. And if we get to Sunday the 13th, for example, this, which is what we call a box and whisker plot, it actually becomes becomes a lot longer um, than the boxes previously in the week and that just indicates that there's more spread in the models. So some of the models are actually suggesting that we could see temperatures in the mid 30s but there's also other models that are suggesting actually temperatures could be in the mid to low 20s. So there's, there's still a little bit of uncertainty as we head into next week but earlier I got the chance to speak to one of our deputy chief meteorologists to find out what the latest is. So Stephen, are we going to see a repeat of the heat? Well, it looks like through the second half of this coming week and into next weekend, temperatures are going to build once again, particularly across parts of the south and the east. Uh, it looks like typically hot summer weather looks quite likely, I would say, but there is the potential for something very hot to develop. Now, this has been shown in various model runs uh, over the last sort of, week or so, but there is a lot of uncertainty as to how hot it is because in those model runs there's a lot of variation. So yeah. a couple of things on screen here. So this is from the American model, GFS model. By next Friday, it's got some very hot air across parts of England and Wales. Should this come off, then we could be talking about temperatures widely at least as hot as it was a few days ago. However, the European model on my middle screen here, a lot of variation between what we call these ensemble members. So some suggest something really quite hot, some really not that hot at all and actually potentially quite cool. And another way of displaying that is what we call these meteograms. So looking at London, for example, here, the middle value suggests around about 30, so typically hot. The upper end of this could be well into the 30s, so mid 30s at least. But the bottom end of this, this is around next weekend, could be low to mid 20s, so nothing particularly unusual at all. So a lot of uncertainty into the detail, but potential. I think the key is potential for some further hot weather to come. So there we have it. We could see heat wave conditions as we head into next week, but at the moment it's not guaranteed.